Dr. Deborah Ruth Amlen, um, the founder of Center for Insect Research and Development. Center for Insect Research and Development was hatched from the idea that we want to see how to explore the potential of industrial insects. We are talking about insects that can help communities generate money. For example, honeybees and the black soldier fly larvae. So our focus is to see how to develop products from those insects. So for today's video, this, in, this interview, we are discussing the black soldier fly larvae. Where I'm standing here is a unit of the black soldier fly larvae. We have set up a training facility to help farmers uh, obtain. Why should farmers in Uganda specifically think of the black soldier fly? Because uh, the black soldier fly is a good protein source as compared, it, it can replace mukene. Mm. As you realize, we now have food challenges and people need that mukene to feed for themselves. Also, the performance of local chicken by black soldier fly, I mean some of the larvae like this. The performance of local chicken and the pigs could be enhanced through feeding with this uh, larvae. This is an enterprise that you can start at a very cheaper cost. All you need is the starting larvae and you can recycle containers like this, uh, the, the, the jerrycans for, for rearing. You don't need to buy the expensive trays like some of us uh, went to buy. That's what I can afford. These trays are 40,000. But you can just get the simple jerrycans for your larvae. Apart from offering opportunities for employment and protein for the people, it's a useful uh, environment uh, tool because we, we have a lot of manure from cattle, the cow dung, the pig manure, the chicken manure. It is producing a lot of greenhouse gases in the environment. And now, in the focus to make our environment very organized, we need to start adopting this. One of the challenges that is making communities fail to adopt the black soldier fly is most of them don't know how to raise it. But it's very simple technology that even mama from the village there who has not gone to school can raise it. So I decided to leave Makerel and come to the community and set up a demonstration unit that we can try to use for, the, for teaching the people in communities and we want to see how to build a network of youth across the country to industrialize especially livestock, the, the chicken production and pea garry production. Our main issue in this project is producing larvae and teaching different people in the villages how to use waste in production of food. So as you can see right here, this is one of our structures that is bearing some black soldier flies. The black soldier flies are in this net. Uh, this is a process whereby we get the pupa, then we place the pupa in the nets. So for a local farmer who needs to start up this project, there are just a few requirements that are needed. You just require a structure like this, it is made of timber. It is just a structure made of timber with some basement, which is also made of timber. But inside, inside the net, we need some things that will help us in our production. We have an attractant dish, whereby we put our attractant mm. to attract the flies. This attractant, its use is to attract the flies so that they come and what? They come and lay on this timber. Then secondly, we need the timber. This timber is used for laying. As you can see, some flies uh, are in their process of laying. And this timber should be joined together to create a dark space for the flies to lay their eggs. So, and in this process, as you can see, we already have some eggs that the the flies have laid on the timber. You need uh, a dish with water and some cotton wool. We use this dish and the cotton wool to
to feed the adult flies. The adult flies at this stage, they don't feed on food. Rather, they feed on water. And this water we soak in a wool so that they come and suck the water from the wool. And basically, these adult flies, the adult flies live eight to ten days and then they die. We get restaurant food waste. Mm. So when I had mentioned earlier on, so we have a mixture of matoke, a mixture of some tomatoes, whatever is left in the restaurant. So when they bring food, they, 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 they make sure that the food is in airtight conditions because house flies also like to lay in this food. So if the house flies lay before the larvae, the smell, it brings a very bad smell and sometimes when the house fly larvae is a lot, then the, the BSF larvae may not enjoy it. Although they are known to, they can outcompete. Then we also use brewers waste, as you can see, is being added to the, to the feeding traps for this larvae. Basically that's it. And the next work, the only work you can do for the few days until it hatches is just turning the larvae. You keep turning to make sure that you allow the larvae to access all the food within. Uh, this is our production unit where we produce the larvae from. And as you can see, we use jerrycans because they are easy and they are not expensive for the production. So inside these jerrycans, we have waste that we feed with the larvae. And the larvae basically spends two weeks to grow until harvest. So we have larvae inside all this and per week we get like a ton of larvae from these jerrycans. So that's how the production goes and you can take a look at some of the larvae that we are having. These are some. These are just five days old larvae but they have already grown into good, in a good size. One of the things one has to look out is always ensure that all the containers are active, check the temperatures. When it is warm, you know that it is still consuming the food. If it's very cold, something is wrong. And then you can smell here. We are using waste, but there's no bad smell. It is just a fruity, sweet smell inside the house. That means the larvae is doing its operations well. Mm -hmm. But once you enter the unit and you are getting a very bad smell, then there is something in your management. It means the, the house fly has taken over. It is no longer the BSF larvae that you are working with. So those are some of the things the farmer has to look out for. Another thing is rats, the challenge of rats. The rat can, we have a rat that disturbs us here. It is really very fat. So maybe you should have a cat, something like this, uh, a pet, a cat, so to chase away the rats and then you can feed the cat. This, this is how we are trying to make money. And I think, forget about the metallic stands. In the village there, the farmer can have a wooden, you can use calyptus wood and, and put your nest uh, to take care of the larvae. This is something that even people can recycle old jerrycans to use. Don't buy new jerrycans like probably we have both. You recycle old containers and use them for rearing. So me, I believe this is a game changer for communities. I mean, all the youth, uh, for those who don't have cap a lot of capital, you just look for where there is the organic rubbish waste and then come to learn a skill here and then you take the, you can even start with the young larvae and there, you, you multiply and begin your business. Yeah, the market for BSF is, we cannot finish at the moment. A, fresh, a kilo of fresh, we are selling it at 2,000. The kilo of dry larvae, we are selling it at uh, 3,500 to bulk buyers. Mm -hmm. But for the, the small scale buyers, of course, you, we, with the pro boost kilogram, we are selling it at 5,000. Why? Because you, you realize for every one kilogram of fresh BSF, when you dry it, you are going to lose almost a, a half of it in, 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 in dry weight. But it is a very high uh, protein for the communities. 
since I am a lecturer at Makerere University, we are analyzing composition and we are also uh, doing uh, rearing combinations of organic waste. The only other cost that the farmer will need to inject in is mobilizing the material for rearing. I buy, like, from the restaurants, I buy almost uh, uh, 10 uh, like a bag. I, I don't know how I can show you somewhere there. Mm. I buy one a ton of the waste, mm. food restaurant food waste at 78,000 shillings. For brewer's waste, the brewer's waste that is good for BSF is the one from the wheat brand. So we get it from Port Bell. I give special gratitude to Michigan State University, where I was given a fellowship from Alliance for African Partnership, African Futures Fellowship. They trained me for one year in their, in their lab, entomology lab, with Professor Eric Benbo and Dr. Jane, to, on how to rear BSF. And when I came back from there, the dream to expand and roll it to communities uh, it came up. And, and that's how we were able to set up this unit. I thank, I have, give, I have to give special thanks to Alliance for African Partnership in Michigan State University and, and also special thanks to the lab of Professor Eric Benbo at Michigan State University. Thank you.